Rocket League have done it again. The day before I released my blind trading onto YouTube where I lost my coveted titanium white mainframe, the most valuable item in my inventory, they released it into the item shop. Let me know in the comments if you use code Pixel Army. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> but as well as the titanium white mainframe, they released some really interesting wheels as well. Now, I actually had this item from the last time they put it in the shop, and I'll be interested to see how it affects the long-term price of this thing. But these wheels look kind of clean. So today, we're going to get in and get some highlights with these wheels. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to go. And also, feel like I'm going to struggle because the standards of ranked ones these days is just pretty silly. Champ isn't what it used to be. Basically, the standard of today's champ one is pretty much, I would say, what grand champ two would have been when I was grand champ in ones. This is without a doubt the highest standard of ones I've played. So yeah, we got the mainframe, the new wheels were only 300 credits. So 2,800 credits for both of them. We're rocking them on the car today and we are ready to go. Also, shout out to the person that commented and reminded me that the CRL decal on the Octane that I used in the expensive car video wasn't the most expensive decal. The gray mainframe was. I kind of forgot about it. Obviously, it's like discontinued. You can't get it. And I, it basically slipped my mind. First game, feeling fresh, feeling quick with these wheels. Can I go for a little double tap? No, it's taking too far to the wall. It'll be a flick. It's a good flick, but it's a good save from the Dominus. What did I say about the Dominus? They're a failed freestyler that said a bad day with the Octane and the Fennec. <laughs> I definitely could have defended that better. The only reason I never opt for the backflip there is to try and get one of those wicked backflips, like the moon flick, I think it's called, where you absolutely send it. But in the end, I just put it on a plate for him to tap it in. So I wasn't very confident with the sort of forward side flip. I didn't want to bury it into my own net, but clearly would have been a better effort than that backflip I managed. He's going to get it. Oof. Didn't think he was going to get that at first. I'll try and get one shot. Nah. Yeah, perfect. That's a goal. Nice. 1-1. One, one. Okay. No worries. Nice shot. Thank you, lad. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm in a very good mood. I had one of the best gym sessions I think I've ever had. Is that a fake? No, it's just a weird little delay. I was in the gym with the man himself, TGD plays. This is awkward. Oh, he's missed. Thank God. And we were in there for two hours. Two hours. And we worked hard as well. That was not a great touch because it allows him to just get it. I'll let him go for this. Show me the freestyle mechs. You're in a Dominus, so... What I say, it's not going to happen. Surprise! Oh no, it's too powerful. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone to the side. Should have taken it to the back corner. Give me a bit more time. Dude, see what I mean? This guy's just, he wants to be a freestyle, but he's just not one. He's going to make it back. He's not going to make it back. Brother! See? Watch my video. My short on YouTube. What your favorite car in Rocket League says about you. And this guy fits the description I gave for the Dominus players expertly. I got comments on that video of people saying like, Haha, <laughs> there's pro players that use these cars and you basically slated all of them. Basically, the whole point of that video and the comedy behind it is that no car is safe. I pretty much roast everyone. That's the whole point. Apart from the breakout, I actually didn't roast the breakout users. But obviously, there's going to be pro players that use the cars that are obviously way better than me. Bang! Can I demo him? Can I get something going? We got no boost and no momentum. He's probably going to score this. Have to go up for that. No boost, no worries. Can I get a 12 pad, please? Perfect. And he's also cleared it for me. What a hero. I mean, yeah, that's just... This is Rocket League, I guess. <laughs> he's okayed about 20 times this game. That was outrageous. How has he got off so well from that? I don't know. So yeah, half the comments were basically saying like, how can you say this about these players when they're way better than you? And then the other half were, I use this car. What about me? Can I slide it past him? No, I can't. That's not going to be 3-2, is it? No, we're fine. Watch out for the pace. He's going to take that boost. Nah, he's bottled it. Probably shouldn't have used that last 10 boost in a vain attempt. Vain attempt? A rubbish attempt to get that corner. He's going to go for that, which is fine. He's got to go up for the ball. Never mind. I'll go up for the ball then. No, I've hit it too hard. I've hit it too well. That's over, right? Oh, dude, can you stop being a little nerd? Brother! He took my boost about 18 times. I was fine for so long. Jesus. I want to win. I mean, yeah, no, fair play. Literally can't complain at all. But oh my God, that was outrageous. That looked like a fake, but again, it wasn't. Maybe I can. Nah, top corner. Oh. Ah, oh, how the hell do you win a 50 with a Dominus? Demo! Yes, come on! <laughs> if you want to win, why are you doing that? <laughs> it's exactly how I can see my first goal. A rubbish little backflip. I'd say this guy and I are quite well matched, to be honest. His game management's been pretty good. You know, the way he managed to essentially force the third goal by boost starving me was pretty good. Can I score this? Oh, I think I could have done if he wasn't there. His recoveries are quite good. He's not got that again in a bad way. Same there. 
You can take that boost for all you like. I'm going to act like I've got no boost. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone for that. Not going to get beaten like that. He's quick. No, nah, he's got me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. As soon as he spent all game failing air drags, I knew because of what I said about Dominus in my last video, he would get one eventually. And there's, there's absolutely no way to stop that. Not really, anyway. It'd be a cracking save if you do. I've missed. That's a key. He's, he's made a massive fatal error there in allowing me to take that shot. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, okay. Sick. I swear I always... I can see at least one. Um, pretty much every game I play. See, I mean, like, he literally even said, nah, that was... And it was, but... But, oh, it was just awful. And it goes in because it's bad. If he hits the shot like he's meant to, I'm there. It's so, it's so annoying. But whatever. Well played to that guy. The fourth goal to essentially win it. We can ignore the fifth. The fourth goal was really, really good. Good first opponent. Can we get in, win the second game, hopefully? But yeah. Didn't actually show you the start of the video. This is the shop. Mothership Pro Inverted. Mainframe Titanium White. What are your thoughts? 700 credits for Burnt Sienna Lobos there in the daily shop. That is a bit of a robbery. I don't think anyone's picking that up. But let's see who we got. As long as it's not the guy that we played the last game. Because I don't like that in videos. Because it's not great to have the same opponent multiple times. Even if you slap him up. You just want something, someone else. Something fresh. And a different kind of play style. And uh, we've got a Fennec this time. So another basic player just like me that's over that's in wow i might have been able to stop that if i used my double jump i just really thought he missed i was gonna take a pop shot there but i thought i could touch might work better yeah i guess so he absolutely flew in <laughs> dude was zooming i think he was anticipating a first time bounce shot all right winnable it's gonna be challenging you can see he looks ahead tries to read the game based on the fact that he tried to read that shot that never ended up going but that's a nice shot, but he's done well to go back and defend it because he would know that I don't have much boost. So to anticipate me doing that was pretty impressive. And again, holy! No way, and he's kept the wave dash to score. Oh, what a demo with no boost. Oh, that's pain. <laughs> Dude, he's stood off way too much. As soon as I dropped that ball, he should have been on me. Like, because because you've got to get the ball back up to really be dangerous. And he just never went. Put it around the left. Can I dribble it around in time? That's, yeah, that's... If, if the ball doesn't follow my speed and I have to slow down for it, it's an instant demo. All right, show me what you got. I should have gone earlier. He had no chance. That might be one of the funniest goals. Oh, yeah, that might be one of the funniest goals I've ever scored. I knew he probably squishy, you know, went on the thing to recover quickly that's hilarious bro that's actually so funny <laughs> i think the key in ones really you know what i'm going for boost key in ones with defending is sort of noticing when they have or haven't got control here i've got to be wary because he had full control but it's that moment when they've got the ball in their car maybe and then they drop the ball and if that occurs you've just got to try and take your opportunity and do what needs to be done. Go in there, 50 it. Because if the ball's on the ground in front of them, they can't ball you if you if you meet them, you know, halfway, so to speak. He just kind of fumbled it there, to be honest. Because you're only really caught in two minds if they can do more than one thing. Whereas if the ball's in front of them, they can only do one thing. Well, I suppose two. They can force a 50, or they can try and cut it to, to create a sort of bouncy scenario. And that's just a kickoff goal. Got to concede a few of those in my time. I just hope it doesn't cost me the game, because it feels cheap when I lose on kickoff goals. Like losing on penalties, isn't it? Yeah, fair play. That was a, that was a, that was a kickoff goal, but actually a quite nice kickoff goal because he faked me out basically. I thought he was going to flick it, like my first goal. Oh, this is long. That's really long. No way. Wow! That's basically three kickoff goals, man. You know, I can't be arsed. It's just like you 
dominate them in the midfield and you lose on kickoff goals, then I get a chance like that and it doesn't go in. I have to create it anti-kickoff goal like that. Oh, it's not even in. Like this. Fuck off. I just can't believe this is 4-4. Four, four. What a save. His anticipation of my ability to actually get decent shots is really good. Fucking lucky prick. Oh, it's just like there. Saved his ass by accident. He did not mean to demo me there. Right, he's going to chat. He's going to fake it. No, he's not. No, he's not going to fake it. He's in my head now. I can't believe. Really about to lose on kickoffs again. Oh, I'm going to get in his head. Let's say it. Because the implication there is I think I'm way better than him. Like getting kickoffs and i do think i can i'm better than him on the field you know not including this kickoffs i do i do think i'm better than him without kickoffs i will say that just annoying because you score a goal and then bang you're back to kickoffs sick bang this lad just go in please that's crazy how just go in! 30 seconds in a dream. There's no bump there? Are you sure, game? Explain that to me, because now it's going to be 6 5. What is. Wow, okay, the game really tried to put it in for him like that. Oh, just stop bumping me! It's so lucky! It's an accidental, convenient bump, and it pissed me off. The bumps and demos he's getting by accident are crazy. 14 shots for me, 11 for him, and it all comes down to a kickoff. Yeah. Right, well, we made the right choice there. Crazy. We managed to win. What a game. We deserve to win. I, I conceded like three kickoff goals, but what a game. Look at that scoreboard. 1,500 points each. I got in his head. I said it. I said, really about to lose on kickoffs again. And I don't know. Say replay. What was funny? I don't know. Go. Oh. That's crazy. Where are you going? Wait. What? Why are you AFKing? What the? F what? What have I done? Why would he AFK after that? That was a rapid shot that's come my way. What? He's not playing. Why? I can't believe that. But what? What the f*** did I do? Oh, mate. I'm doing better without him. I just... Right now, he's playing. That was so weird. I didn't say anything to him. I didn't say great pass. I didn't say... Nice one for not being in position when you were about a million times. And that was just so weird. I hit a banger and hit the top right of the goal. Or top left or whatever. And didn't quite score his misplaced pass. And he's AFKing to the point where we can see. Jesus. What about the first goal where they literally open net? Because, I don't know, you passed it to them. No idea why this guy's getting Larry. And it took me to score a 2v1. For him to start playing again. Bang it, bang it, bang it. I just can't believe that. I can't believe that I had to work that hard for that win. I don't have any. I think that's going to do it for me today in this video. That was absolutely mental. I sucked in once today. I was getting tilted by the amount of, genuinely by the amount of bumps. I hate that I suck at kickoffs. <laughs> but I play this game to have fun. And practicing kickoffs isn't fun. I don't know. That twos game was a mystery to me. The AFK forfeit was crazy. Throw up a forfeit if you want. Fine, but don't stop playing. Wow. Anyway, we managed to get the win, which, like I said, that's what I was going for. So drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I have been Pixel. You've been awesome. Mozron, I hope you have a better day than you did today because that AFK was crazy. But nevertheless, I'll see you in the next video very soon.